<laughs> What's well, all you about? What? I know we are on air, but I'm not going <clears> to <throat> give this dude, Michael King, any attention. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Aunt Pearl here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. This is a late edition of the Smartphone Photographers Community weekly hangout on there. We like to call it Point and Shoot. Uh, this is a weekly podcast where we get together and talk about different tips and tricks to make you a much better smartphone photographer. Because some of y'all think you're really good, and you might be, but you could be better if you check out some of our tips and tricks. Tonight we have a couple of our moderators in here hanging with us, and again, sorry for being late. Had some traveling and some wedding stuff to deal with for my sister and not even at my house here. This is not Chateau Ghetto. This is actually my old childhood bedroom at my mom's house. So go figure. But uh, we're going to have my man, Mr. Michael King, say hello and introduce himself. Hello. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> How you doing, brother? <laughs> hello. I am Michael King. I'm from Houston. I am sleepy. <laughs> My mute button. Yeah. That's <laughs> Welcome, Mr. King, and thank you for coming out, brother. Oh, anytime. Next up, we got my man, Mr. Mike Sweeney. He's going to run the show tonight. I'm, since my audio is pretty crappy and my camera is not so great with my lighting and stuff, he's going to run the show tonight. How wah, you doing? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> He's also one of the biggest smartasses I know, too. But that's another we the, story. We have the ultimate respect for you, Ant. <laughs> right, right, right. Appreciate you coming out, brother. So I'm going to turn it over to you, and I'll just click the camera. It's all you, man. It's all me? Oh, man. <laughs> So what am I supposed to? Where's my script? Hey, script. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had a fine event this last week that was actually a lot of fun. And um, for those of you that didn't uh, join our event, that was called Leading Lines. Uh, you really missed a fun time. And it was an event that that gives you the ability to think conventionally a little bit or perhaps kind of go outside the box a little bit and kind of explore the, the outer rim of the box, maybe go completely out of the box and, like, wander off the edge. But uh, we had a really good time. I'm looking at some of the pictures that we had, and we had a really awesome assortment of pictures show up for this event. And it's, it's always gratifying to see people when they really uh, grab hold of one of our events and uh, enter in and have a good time. Definitely. So when we get to it, are you going to pull up the pics, Ant, or you want me to pull them up? No, you go right ahead because, you know, right. I'm working that whole two megabits down. All right. Let me uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. get my pictures here. Boom. There we go. And let's start with, where is it, where is it, where is it? I should have been all prepped for this, but you know what? Oh, you know what I did? I need to see all photos. <laughs> you know, I Google. do that. Yeah, Google being with us. Okay, so number three. Come on, click, click. Come on. There we go. Here we go. So here's number three. Great. And I should probably be quiet on this because I happen to know the photographer pretty well. Oh, <laughs> boy. I've heard of this dude, but I, I've had yeah, some yeah, questions. Yeah, he's kind it. of a mouth at times, so. <laughs> oh, he, he's, a, he's a big uh, a, uh, SOB at times, you know. <laughs> I will, I will start with this shot here. All um, right, go right ahead. When I first saw it, I thought of a, a conversation you and I had, I guess, sometime last year about bullseye. And I looked at this and I said, well, he didn't bullseye. He, he almost did, but he didn't bullseye, <laughs> he didn't bullseye this shot. But I, I really love how you have the, um, the leading lines going at a, a nice diagonal. Um, I'm assuming the power, the power line holder or pole or whatever you call it, over there on the right hand side is is closer to you than. Yeah, the, they're they're slightly staggered. Okay. So, I was trying very hard to get it symmetrical, but I just couldn't quite get it. Yeah, I, and I sort of assumed that, but I was like, man, he can't go out there and move those things, so it ain't but so not, much. Not like easily. <laughs> they might get a little irritated if I start whipping up the welding torch and uh, revamping their infrastructure. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Then again, they might let you do it for free. Could be. Could be. <laughs> but, oh, I've seen you know, Just I've seen as a point for you, Ant, is that the whole diagonal thing going on mm-hmm. was, um, oh, stop zooming, was quite intentional on my part. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I, I went out of my way trying to line up those lines right. to form the V that would take you from the top to the bottom. Right. And I must say, looking at that, that the lead in lines did not make me sad, as um, Mr. Van Dyke mentioned in the description of the sh- of the, the the challenge. You know, he <laughs> talked about it in theory. The lines leading down tends to give you sort of a sad mood. They can. Feel to the, they they to absolutely the can. You know, but, and, I, and and I get that. But in this one, I didn't. It, that didn't happen, which is fine. Um, the only thing I would have done differently on it is some saturation because you know how I feel about a blue sky. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because that's already pretty heavily saturated. <laughs> <laughs> this was shot about 6 p.m. And okay. out here in SoCal right now, it's like really dark when you do that. Yeah. I was actually having to hold the camera on the fence rail and use it as an impromptu tripod. Of course. Use what you so, got. Yep. And this was uh, Snapseed, by the way. Nice. Nicely done. Mr. King? It is interesting. I know, here's, I like it. Here's your it. chance. Be gentle. I like it. It just brings back some old bad memories, seeing power poles and those type, <laughs> and those type of power poles laying on the ground. Yeah, I bet. After they've been blown over. Yeah, they're not supposed to fall down quite that easily, but then you're going to force five you're gales either. Right. Oh, it, it took uh, the one near us, and that's why we were out of power for almost a month. Is uh, it the the poles got a direct hit from a tornado? Okay, so this is. But yeah, this it's, it's a deal. I love that shot. So this is our number two, Timothy uh, McCluster, as usual, is is ranking well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kind of start this one off since it's not my picture. Thank you. I like I like what he did with the with the leading lines to the subject of the little girl reading, but I really don't like the post processing. Mm-hmm. What don't you like? I, I don't like that vintage faded look so strong on this picture. Yes. That one I 100% agree that, with you. And it kind of tilts. My my head wants to tilt to the left. The the vintage look didn't really bother didn't really bother me. Um, I, I I guess I looked right past that because um, when I'm serious, when I first looked at this shot, I smiled immediately. Absolutely, it, it mm-hmm. just it, it it struck a nerve, you know, because I know how it is to take kids to the library or to the bookstore or whatever, and just to watch them get excited to pick up a book and just sit down. You know, it, it's oh, with with the age of video games and everything, for yeah, a kid to sit down and read a book is a hell of an achievement. Yeah, it freaking oh, warmed yeah. my heart, and I saw that, and I immediately smiled, and I was like, he 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 got me. <laughs> yep. You know? Yep. You know, and the lines thing? going straight up, just like as far as the, you know, as far as the picture, I like it. It's just that I agree that the um, the fading on it is just a little too much. I would I would like to be a little bit sharper and a little bit more bit. Um, Vibrant, but other than that, I like the way it leads to you because I have to agree, it's not. I mean, you don't see that many kids reading anymore, mm-hmm. with video games or whatever. Yep. Now, what well, camera did he use? I think he's on the uh, One Plus now. You know, he changes uh, them like he changed. Uh, file name, Pix Play. Mm, didn't say. Let's see all the comments. <laughs> yep, that's it. Uh, one plus one, edited in Pixplay okay, so Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, it's a good picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, That's the, the post process complaint of mind is is just a personal thing, but the picture itself is great. Subject's awesome. Oh yeah, that's why I voted for I it. Do I do see thought... the tilt that you're talking about. You see uh, it? Yeah, I do see the tilt that you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. I just want to kind of lean my head to the left every time I look. Yeah, that's you know you do. It does make you want to kind of start leaning a little bit and leaning a little more, like mm-hmm. you're about to fall over. Yeah. Now, what I think was unintentional that I actually really, really like. I'm gonna. You know, he didn't give a high res, 
but you see the carpet pattern, mm -hmm. the, the cross hatch diagonals, that also leads you. Because you want you see your eye sees that pattern and it kind of want to follows the pattern. So yeah, I didn't notice I that. I could zoom it more. Didn't All notice right. that. Let's move on. All I saw was the bottom of the shelves going straight up to that. Yeah, seat. but I saw that like like uh, Mike talked about. I saw that that pattern. So that also kind of like a, it's like one of these um chasing lights that just yep. keeps pushing you that way. Like follow me, follow me. Now, Mr. Terry Sudik, Sutlik, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, he's our winner tonight, and I like the shot, however, I, I've got some issues with it not being uh, level. He's got such strong vertical and horizontal lines that with it not being level, it really bugs me. Mm -hmm. and, and you really see it right here with, with that, I guess it's a little bridge. That pedestrian bridge oh. yeah. that just stands out to me because it, it's bright my eye wants to focus in on that and it's not level and my OCD kicks in yeah, well my OCD kicked in with it I thought it was a little too busy um, you think so well because I didn't know if if I was supposed to go up that left hand side I mean the right hand side or if I was supposed to go right oh, down with, the chute or with the, with the curve right there yeah I, I <clears throat> it's, it's a Pretty shot, but I just thought it was too busy based on the. the uh, thing you can make that argument with that curve. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, uh, where I really know it's on level, you go all the way up to the top to that bar right, right at the very top. It, uh, it I'm just, throws. I'm just the, playing. I'm just playing with the cropping a little bit here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now that would have been a lot better, but you know when you see the those uh, bars that the I guess the. Uh, Braces that hold up everything. These and top guys? It, yeah, and you see how one end goes all the way. You, I can tell how unlevel it is because one end goes off the picture. The other one is way down in the picture. Okay, yeah. well, now this reminds me of a shot that I had to deal with a while back. And you, you have to figure out what is your alignment, um, um, I guess you can say anchor, which one is – what what – Part of the picture, are you going to set as okay? This is. I, I, if I had to side. guess, I w I would say it's going to be that that bar right there, that gold bar in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only because it stands out so much. You can see at the same time though the 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 trusses and rafters stand out too because they do. Yeah. it's a nice. Yeah, they, My eye they, just goes right for that gold. Mm -hmm. But that's just same here. And it, it's just devil's also, advocate. That's all. And I can tell that it's off. You know, it's uh, off center a little bit. It's not level. That kind of looks like it looks like uh, a ship that just took a torpedo and it's going down. <laughs> it's not that bad. No. <laughs> Good grief. Now, what would have been fun to to really? Okay, so now let's hit some of the finer points of composition. You know, the leveling and and all that aside. Oh yeah. I if it had been me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I would have gone with a longer shutter speed to blur the people. Not to lose them, but to blur and show some motion and some action there. I see just a little touch of it, but not quite enough to, to really kind of set off what's actually happening in the mall, which is the shopping. Mm -hmm. Which fits the season, of course. Of course. The silly season. I mean, I love the lights he's got hanging and, and all of that, and I like how bright it is. But, you know, we always strive to be better. Yeah, but yeah. I can see where the the the, the line, where you, the eye does kind of want to follow that railing around to that bridge. And that's, But it does get your attention. It does do that. Well, anyways, Terry, you are our winner this fine week. So the ball is in your court. Congratulations. Absolutely, dude. Hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> so uh, I suspect Ant, shake your head, yes, Ant, will be sending out the notice saying that you won and uh, yes. uh, to kind of uh, badger you a bit to make sure you actually give us an event to, to play with. Because <laughs> you know I'm good at badgering. Play with? <laughs> you know I'm good at badgering. <laughs> well done. Terry, well done. Yeah, that's a great pick. Now, with that said, 
I mean, we had some other pictures in here that were that were I thought pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, I liked what Tony was trying with this. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, where you went for the, the classic ver vertical shot and the point of perspective and all that. But there just wasn't a strong enough line on both sides to balance it for me. What if she had cropped off the, the right-hand side just a little more? And Let's see. You know what I mean? If I can get... Google doesn't want to cooperate. You can always pull out a notepad and slide it in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that well, old Chateau Ghetto trick. Well, you know it's funny you mentioned that because I happen to be on a Mac and I don't have Notepad. Uh, you do have you, you I, do I have do a text, uh, text editor. Text, you got text G editor. Edit. You have oh, you do have notes. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? It's not going to let me. Oh yeah, because it'll it'll do like one particular screen. Yeah, I, I'd have have. to change the uh, screen share to desktop yeah. and not not and not the uh, one browser window. Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, well. I've learned that. I've learned that the hard way too. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would be interesting if Google would release a toolbox. A hey, Google, pay attention. Where, Google when you have a little attention. chat like this, that you've got, you know, basically crop tools or, you know, maybe not, you know, call them shapes, you know, whatever, yeah. where you can annotate, actively annotate and add shapes to an image as you're sharing the screen. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. Pay attention, Google. <laughs> Google, pay attention. Are you kidding? That's right. Now, any others that really grabbed your, your eyes here? Uh, uh, oh. Yes. Ah. I'm trying to scroll on your picture, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work so well. No, Which one it do you doesn't. Want? Go there on, was one on. from Chris Seam um, where he had taken a shot of this little creature. I think it was at the very bottom there, Mr. Sweeney. This guy. Yeah. I like that shot there. Yeah. Now, would you actually call that leading lines? Only because of the bottom portion of that wall and the stairs. And because I, I totally went from right to left and up looking at that shot. Yeah, you got lines. I'm not sure I'd call them leading lines, but you know, we'll, we'll go with that. What makes you say they're not leading? Because <clears throat> the lines don't actually draw me to the subject. Well, that's why I said the, the base of the wall. That's what got me. Because I agree with you. As still doesn't the, do it for me. As far as what notes. draws me to the subject is the fact that it's it's a contrast. It's green uh -huh. against the yellow. So there's a real strong contrast there. True. That's what draws my eye. It's not the line. Mm -hmm. I like that shot there. And I'll it's a fun shot. One more. Mm -hmm. What's that other one? Let me see if I can find it on my screen. There was another one I liked. It was the very top one, top left. Top left, this guy. Yeah, uh, that one uh, from the very end, very top. Yeah, that one. Okay. I kind of like that one. It's not. I know. I know it's more like from our uh, last one we did, but it's pretty close to with uh, the buildings kind of lean you into yeah. that sun sun. That to that well, you know that, he, uh, he did. The he did the. Uh, he did almost did the bullseye. He's off center mm -hmm. slightly. Mm-hmm. I wish I could do the Porter's crop with the uh, zoom tool here. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? it it's interesting because I, I use the Apple Magic Mouse, and the uh, the Apple zoom tool is just really twitchy with this mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> check out the shot from, I believe his name is Domingo. Let me double Which check. Which one? Um, Scroll down. Oh, that screen is so slow. Sorry. I like that screen, Sorry, Jimmy. That screen. doesn't leave you. The All right. One. Go right above the org. This yeah, one? Domingo Rogers. Mm -hmm. That one. Now, this one here, I I saw that what he was trying to do, and my, yep. I want to ask you guys if you think the same thing. Had he cropped out all of that on the left-hand side, it might have been a, a, a clever shot there. I think so, but yeah, without the crop, it's distracting. With the yeah, that's as far in as I can zoom. 
Yeah. He needed to crop, to my opinion, he needed to crop out both sides. Crop out that stop sign all the way over past the stop sign, and maybe crop out the other side up to that into the into the bumper of the truck. Yeah. And I think I've been okay. Yeah. Well, it's a clever idea using that red line to lead mm -hmm. right to the subject. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought so too. So Domingo, if you're watching this. Take that shot and crop it and share it in the community with us. You know, let us. Well, now, what's interesting is read the details here. That's actually a video shot that he pulled a still out of. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've done that, it, and it works quite nicely every now and then. I imagine it does. This is pretty sweet. I, it, I it did might that have been just the other night, actually, Sweeney. It might have been more fun to get though. right down on the slack line. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That would have been pretty cool. But we'll we'll give Domingo props for imagination. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, if you can crop that shot, Domingo, try it out and 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 post yeah, it let us know what you think. so so we can see what it looks like. We like it. I tell you, I like that one with a steam engine, but again, it doesn't turn me on. <laughs> now now this was the classic, you know, cliche shot. Yeah. You know, Lee line. It's fun. I mean, everybody in the world does it. Yeah, but it it doesn't do much of a story for me. Well, and and another thing is that's one of those just like you said, everybody in the world does it. Yeah, to me, well, you got to start is, somewhere, and this is a good me, place the story to start. Is, is it to me? I see the story. Snow on the what, ground snow? means I don't go anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too damn cold. There you go. What would you guys have done differently on this one? I don't know offhand. I don't know. Maybe a different filter? It, it, no, no. I, I, I had an issue flat. with the bullseye effect. Mm -hmm. um, but shooting something like this, I mean, you'd have to go higher or go really, really low. I, I think the problem I have with this is it's shot at head height. It's, okay. it's what everybody else does. The camera is, you know, five foot eight inches off the ground because that's your height. All right. You know, shoot low, shoot high, do something different. Yeah, I did one that, that I actually put the phone on the ground. Yeah, I, I saw that, too. King. I was impressed, brother. Yeah, see, he's not afraid of getting down on the ground, unlike somebody else. Hey, I, I've done it. I've done it a couple times, though. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear that moniker anymore, brother. Let me just turn on my share here. Do you, um, you mind looking at my shot and, and going through it? Oh, it's you want me the to? the one I right, took in the, share in the uh, auditorium. Let me share it out again. That's someone's someone's, hear someone's thoughts, begging man. to get pounded on, so all right. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this guy? Yep, that one. Do, 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 do. Um, other than the fact it's like really blown out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, and I hated that so much. Um, uh, was this an HDR ant, or were you shooting straight? Shoot, I was shooting straight on. I used the Google Camera app. Yeah. And I want to say I knocked the exposure back quite a bit. Um, yeah, in the description it says minus two. Wow, and you still didn't get the screen. That's and impressive. Then, and I was trying to inside of Snapseed, I tried to do um, the selective editing and try to tone down. That screen back there because it was so no. bright and it, it once you go white. once you go pure white like that it's pretty much gone. I was like, damn. You know, the only thing that really caught my eye while I was sitting there was the fact that there was a row of empty seats in front of me, like just like three of them, and I was hoping I could you know use that as a as a line leading up to the stage. I, I actually saw that, and I think if you'd cropped it a bit. Mm -hmm. something maybe a little bit like that. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you could work on the exposure to actually bring up those seats a bit more. Yeah, they, they changed as I, as I messed around with the exposure, but yeah, again, at the I same think. time, it was that stupid stage and the spotlight up there. Well, but see, that's, <laughs> that's why you shoot either HDR or you get yourself a, a manual app uh -huh. where you can shoot a sequence and... I'm sorry, Mr. Portis, but this is a time where you really want to use something like Photoshop. Yeah, no doubt. 
you know, just to, I mean, when you see the vision in your head, you use whatever tool you need to get to it. All right. You know, purity of the image be damned. It was it was a fun attempt, but you know I was. Well, a I can little see what you were trying. I mean, you got two anchors, one either side, the people's heads, and you got this great three seats in a row, with a head in the middle. I mean, it would have been fun. Even even something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that might have actually worked. Because you got the anchor on the more. on the right, the anchor on the left, you got the anchor yep. in the center, and you still see what they're looking at. Yeah. But you don't you you would have had to done a multiple exposure. That that'd really been the only way to pull it off, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. I'll try to play around a little more with that cropping over the weekend or so. There we go. Put cropping it, put for it friends. In <laughs> put us in the mood because of that scene. <laughs> oh my gosh. This dude's not right. No, he's not. And you invited him in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Forever on my record. <laughs> yeah, any, anybody that puts up holiday lights in the shape of a box with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, it is a box with a bow on it. I see that. <laughs> I couldn't. Someone stole our wreath that was lit. Oh, you're kidding. They took your wreath? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You live that's in Shadow just, Ghetto too, then, huh? That's just bad all the uh, way around. You can see where you now. You can take note what apartment I live in. You just don't know the address. Right. Yeah. Of course. Oh, more. I had another shot. I wish I could share, but. I don't oh, know there we go. <laughs> Let me see. Well, my, wait a minute. It's I got a good here. picture of my satellite. <laughs> I see that. I think I'm getting some bandwidth now. There we go. I'm going I'm to lay back. All right. All right. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let me go back over. To, let me kill my screen share. Come on. All right. Stop. Stop. Don't just let Ant struggle with his. Uh, Come. There we go. Thank cans you. The string. There it is. Okay. If I screen share. Oh, when you buy doing he. Oh, e uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you well, see and still here? learning that with two cans and a string, if you want more bandwidth, you just pull it tighter. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to open another kind of bandwidth. <laughs> oh, it's a black screen. Oh, dude. There it goes. Now it's going there. Boy, and that's not even the one I wanted to show. Oh, nice. But that's, that's a not fun the one. Shine black show. again. Well, I just flipped it. That's not the one I wanted to show. Blast. Five, four, three, two, one, one and a half, one and I'm three sorry. quarters. I thought one, I had that. One and one honestly, third. <laughs> and it just shows uh, we can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I give up. I tried. I'll turn off. Those little bits are struggling. I wish I had um, shared it originally and maybe one of you guys could have seen it and shared it on my behalf. I might just try that. He, he, need, he needs to get that uh, whip out and whip the hamster, get it going. Here we go. I wonder if I can tag Sweeney here. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can do that. Uh-oh. As long as you buttons. don't eject me like you did that one time. Thanks, Sweeney. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of never living something down. <laughs> I feel bad about that. I do. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, he really feels bad. See if it shows in your photo stream there. Let's see. Let's check. I'm checking. Check, 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 check. Yep, check, check, check. Ah, there we go. <sighs> All right, let me share off. Come on, Google. And watch Safari die. Yeah, <laughs> And that wouldn't be my fault. That wouldn't be my luck. Not my bandwidth issues. Hey, uh, Ant's uh, lower third just kicked in. Yeah, I just... Uh, <laughs> it's only been a half hour. Yeah, half hour to show up. What the hell? Might be bandwidth. There's my shot. There's I your like shot. That. I like that I, shot. I like it, too. I, I, um, I, I went to the office a couple of days this week, and... As I told you guys last week, I am going to start using my tripod. So I took my tripod out there, 
and mounted it up and slapped my phone on there. And I took this shot a couple times, and I'm hoping to be able to to, to give some type of um, HDR stack image. Them. Yeah, you're going to stack them and try HDR with it? Yeah. But just this one here at that exposure level, I, I like it just as it is. It's freaking I don't know. You might, you might want to punch up the, in, the saturation of the touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna say it's the only th only thing I see the saturation needs to come up just a little bit, otherwise it is a uh, damn good shot. Appreciate it. One of the Every one of the best then. ones you've done. Every now and then we get lucky with that pond being still or lake, whatever you want to call it. Every now and then we get yeah. lucky. Let's with see. That. Here. You know, I would I think it would have been more dramatic if you had little waves on it. Now you see what Ripples. I just did. Crop down just a hair. Yeah. Yep. And let me, let me explain why. So let me zoom out. All right. So you got this cool little branch up in the upper left, and a cool little branch in the upper right, and but then you've got so, dead air all the way to the left. So I'm thinking, well, why don't we just crop it down? Oh yeah. And we're going to use that branch as kind of an anchor, or what we call a frame. Frame. <laughs> And I would also, if I were you, I would find a perspective tool to play with because when you zoom in a little bit, mm -hmm. if it's not my eyes going, but stop it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the magic mouse. Yeah, my magic mouse. I'm going to magic it all right. <laughs> Get the magic trackpad. That's right. The walls of your building actually seem to be narrow at the bottom and flaring out to the top from some kind of distortion. Okay. And little little crap like that bugs the hell out of me. Because mm -hmm. I it, it kind of distracts from the overall. My brain looks at it and says, that's not exactly right. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I mean, you got a great shot with the reflections and, and the, the dark uh, undergrowth here that mm -hmm. kind of gives you the silhouette. Oh, that's great. And then a little bit of stuff in the corners frames the image really nice. But yeah, flip the perspective a little bit and punch up the saturation. You have a killer shot here, Ant. That's part of the project this week. Yeah. yeah it's it's looking, just just make sure, about... and, and, and honestly, mm -hmm. here's another little tip. Play with the highlights down here in the water. See okay. if you brighten up the highlights slightly so they sparkle. Okay. I will be in Lightroom and Photoshop. There you go. I think I have about at least four different shots, um, different versions of that shot. And hopefully me tapping the screen didn't move the damn um, camera. <laughs> well, see, if you shot with an iPhone, you could use the earbuds as a remote trigger. Oh man, I hate that. God, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Now my other earbuds used to have the little trigger button on them, but it never it never worked. Now now let me ask you this: so most camera apps I'm aware of have actually got a timer where you can do a it's for taking selfies effectively. Yeah. But you push the shutter and then it will time for two, five, ten, fifteen seconds before it actually takes the picture. Hmm. Does your app that. do that? I know it does that for the selfie cam, but I haven't looked at it from um, the rear cam, though. It's probably a setting in there to do that. I possibly. imagine there is. I mean, I've seen it on several cool. iPhone apps. I, I can't imagine the droids right wouldn't do it. Look, I'll look right now. Because um, that that's a, a favorite trick of mine, is to go ahead and use the self-timer. You know, let it do five seconds or two seconds even, and just hit the button, and then everything settles down and takes the picture. Like, no, that wasn't with the Google camera. That was with the stock camera. So let me see. Settings. Got... Yep, there's a cell time. Sure. There you go. Try that. That yeah, do that. That would that would help. Nice. Well, that'll be a part of my next HDR attempt. See, that that was worth the price of admission. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right, it's your show, my man. Yeah, it's my show, and I got I'm I'm out of things. I, <laughs> you know this 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 last two weeks at work have just mm -hmm. been insane, and it's going to be insane until January first when we cut over to the new software. 
Well, I was going to ask you, is it the same with me? Because this is year end and my employer, we provide payroll for people. So Ooh, you got taxes of, to deal with. Yeah, we got all of that. And, no, you know. this is, so our core software that actually runs the business yeah. um, is ancient, old, oldy moldy. It's been hacked together by God knows how many people to the point where nobody actually really knows how it's all held together anymore. <laughs> and we've been on this binge for the last year to uh, roll out a new, completely new software. So the, the equivalent metaphor I can come up with is you're doing 65 to 85 miles an hour down the freeway performing open heart surgery on the driver while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like for uh, for us, because Ooh. well, because we're we're going new software. We're moving from one data center to AWS. Oh and man! And oh we're gosh! Doing it in an ultra compressed time frame. <laughs> Think you're not going from uh, also not changing from another CPU uh, type, <laughs> and you have to redo. Oh, everything. we are. We absolutely are. Oh, so you are doing – you're not, yeah, not like the doing – the, the old surgery. stuff ran on the old P-Series IBMs. Oh, my gosh, dude. And, and, so yeah, it's, and of course, also, that doesn't run in AWS, so. Right. So uh, <laughs> you're also <laughs> doing open heart surgery, and then you're doing the same time, you're doing a brain transplant. Yeah, yeah. something like that. All so trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> so while, while fortunately I'm not part of the software teams, yeah. as, as the network weenie in residence – you know, I'm I'm heavily involved in trying to make sure all the pipes work. Of course, of course. <laughs> hey, the yeah. scary part. Jeez, man. Yeah. So would, it's been a little hectic. No, your metaphor. So I, I haven't had my normal time to go play with new apps and trinkets and stuff. Right. Mm. Although I am uh, I am disappearing to Disneyland for three days starting tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> now, Sweeney, to add to your your metaphor, you're going down that road at 90 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour. And there's potholes in it, and you're hitting. Yeah. Them. <laughs> no kidding. We're finding every one of them. <laughs> right. but oh no, my uh, hey, with us, we have the State Board of Insurance, IRS, and all that stuff. We have to do inventory. Yeah. And it has oh, to be done, and indeed. it has to be in before midnight, December 31st. Yeah. And here's the big kicker: we shut down. We completely shut down. From New Year's, I mean, I'm sorry, Christmas Eve, and we don't reopen until after New Year's. Oh, so you got to get all this done before Christmas. Yes, right. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm doing right now. I love it. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Yeah. Oh, Not. yeah. And you cannot, and you have to make sure it's done triplet, quadruplet, because you're, as I said, you're dealing with the State Board of Insurance. Yeah, you got all the you're different getting, jurisdictions. And you're dealing with um, certain parts of the uh, IRS. <laughs> you're doing some of certain you know, parts of the, the federal the government. Thing that goes zipping through my mind is mm -hmm. the scene out of the Matrix where the cop is talking to Agent Smith, saying something about jurisdiction, my ass. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So it's classic. Classic. And then we still got to do our and here everything. We still have to do our our weekly. Goals for sales and yeah, everything. Of course. <laughs> of course. So we're doing all this like I love and, it. Well well, I mean I'm in the same boat. So, you know, we're doing this head transplant and heart transplant on the freeway. <laughs> and at the same time we're trying to repair the flat tires that we get along the way, you know. <laughs> you know, the brake fix right. stuff never stops. You know? Oh, and then, <laughs> and, oh, and then you have to replace yeah. and then the shocks will go out and you have to do a, <laughs> and you have to replace the shocks when you're still in still in motion. Yeah, I'll be thinking about you guys over the next couple <laughs> weeks because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to complain to myself, but I won't complain to y'all because y'all got. Uh, you'll get no sympathy here. Jeez, good <laughs> grief! All the right, joys well, of working in IT. Well, we will. Um, we'll go ahead and end this this week's hangout on air. And again, congratulations to Terry Sutlik. Um, good job, man. Um, okay, you where, are where on the clock. Is? If you need you assistance getting the the event shared, oh, let come. me know, and I'll I'll share the event on you for you on your behalf. Um, before we get out of here, we're going to allow these gentlemen to um, plug anything they'd like to plug, and you know.
now that Mr. King finally come out of his crash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we find your photography, Mr. King? <clears throat> I can be found anywhere on the net at Michael King 4023. And then, of course, as our generally our third Saturday of the month, I think we moved it up a little earlier this year because of Christmas, we're going to be at Hog. Hog is what, sir? App Houston area. Houston Area oh, Apple Users Group. We right. are one of the original groups. We are over 40 some odd years old. Outstanding. Longevity, brother. Oh, yep. yes. Yep. Good stuff. Appreciate you hanging out with us as always, man. Oh, it's fun. I right. always look for my Thursdays. Is he done yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's done. The camera's on you now. And your daughter. All right. All right. Hello back there. We you see can, you. you can always find me. Yes, I got hard heads sneaking in behind. <laughs> and left. You know, yeah, yeah, they, they do that. You know, my loft is considered public place, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you can find me at msmedia.me, Lighten Images, on the Twitterverse. You can find me in Google+. Plus. You just search for my name, Michael Sweeney. Find me on Facebook and all the rest if you search on Michael Sweeney also. And uh, drop me a private message, email, whatever. I generally answer, unless you're rude. Then I might answer anyways and just be rude back. So <laughs> throw the dice. See what happens. That sounds about right, <laughs> folks. <laughs> sounds about right. Appreciate you coming out, my man. Always a, always a pleasure. All right. And lastly, myself, I am Ant Pruitt. Find me here, of course, on Google Plus under Ant Pruitt, and also on Twitter at I Have No Life, as my lower third now says. <laughs> <laughs> it only took 30 minutes for it to show up. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> sorry about the bandwidth. Like, um, but yeah, I have no life on Twitter. I am active on both of those platforms, and I treat the platforms differently. Um, so whatever content you get over on Google+, Plus, you're not going to necessarily get it over on Twitter and vice versa. It's two different platforms for me, two different crowds of people. But I enjoy them both. Uh, also, be sure to check out my content and check out our website at smartphone-photographers.com. And my writing is over on breakingmodern.com where I do a daily uh, eyewitness photo column for the folks at HTC. Focusing on HTC mobile device users and their, um, they call it oneography and creatography. Yeah, those two words. It's actually pretty neat stuff in there. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it's actually pretty oh, neat wow. stuff in there. I've seen some good stuff from around the world from um, a lot of different people. So check that out. Thank you to the folks that's been watching this Hangout Live and those that watch our reruns. Thank you to all of our community members for being so freaking awesome and active and sharing the shots and sharing their knowledge and critiquing and telling us how we can get better. And thank wah, you wah, wah, wah. for understanding that I do kick people out that are stale in the community. Ooh. I do that. I, I've cut about a little over 20 so far in a week. He's mean. He's really mean. He's like the Grinch. Pay no, pay no attention to that Sweeney guy, folks. I was going to say something, but I... I He's think I a just, mean one. <laughs> so not right. So not right. But yeah, if you're interested in joining our community, just, just hit me up. Um, hit up any of these guys here in, in, the, in the Hangout and request an invite. Be forewarned that we do a somewhat of we a, will a bet background you. check. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sure you're going to fit in. Uh, we like to see that people are active and you know want to contribute to the community not necessarily just show off their pictures you know that's what yeah. Instagram is for um, two things of note here What's make that? sure you have pictures that I can see mm -hmm. and two oh yes cut and paste of press releases is not considered actively posting uh, no no, no. <laughs> not no. At all. not at all we don't mess around folks we want people to get better at this and um I know some people don't like it, but damn it, it's been working. 
you should have seen some of the shots I've taken in the last two years. I've improved a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I said a little bit. Jeez. Me, God. Where's that microscope? We're a hard crowd here. Don't don't. Where's that microscope or uh, magnifying glass to see that improvement? Shut more. it. Shut it. All right, folks. Thank you all again, and um, thank you to um, Brick and Modern for their support and a new domain for plugging our community and. Um, Look for us next week at about the same time because I have rehearsal again, so it's probably going to be about 9.30 Eastern Standard Time again when we hang out. So the West Coast oh, folks go. can get in a, a little breathing time before they have to jump in here. And um, check out the reruns. Go to the YouTube channel uh, under Ant Pruitt, and you'll see all of our hangouts uh, under a playlist called Smartphone Photographers Point and Shoot. Until next time, thank you, and we will see you again. See you then. Absolutely. Peace. Hasta la vista.